when you're making a CRISPR report, you can use um, a data source like Access or SQL Server or Oracle or Excel. And a lot of times you would just use the tables or the uh, queries or the views that are already part of those uh, data sources. But sometimes you want to actually type in the SQL code directly into that data source. Let me show you where you would do that. Uh, I'm going to pick up a blank report here. And let's say I want to use this Access database. Now what I'm about to show you will work with any data source. I'm just using Access as an example. So I want to expand that. Now you see where it says add command. Now that shows up on any data source, but I'm going to double click on add command. And then what you get is this blank screen. And this is where you're going to type in your um, SQL code. SQL is also pronounced SQL, and it means uh, structured query language. So I want to right click on that. I have some code that I copied from a, a different example, and I'm just going to paste that in. So notice how it has um, select and then the field names, the from is the, um, is the uh, table name, and the order by is the, um, you know, the sort. If I want a criteria here, I could even type in some criteria as an example, then you would use something that's called a where. And actually the where usually goes before the order by. So I want to type in where order amount is greater than 500. All right, so you can see how I'm typing this in now. And I'm going to click on OK. And notice how that becomes the data source over here. So instead of actually using a, a table that was already in the uh, Access database, I made up my own kind of view uh, with that command. So I'm going to click on OK. And let's pull our fields in now. Uh, so notice how I can expand the database fields. There's the command, and because of the select statement, it will show me the fields. So I'm going to pick on. Um, I'm going to drag the order ID in, the order date, the order amount, and let's say the freight. Okay, and now we'll just run the report as normal. Of course, we'll pick on the view, print preview, and then notice how. Um, it is only shown the orders that are over $500, and whatever order by was in there uh, is, is going to show up as well. So that's a, a pretty easy way to uh, put your uh, SQL code in. Now, if you wanted to edit the SQL code, notice over here I just have the, um, the fields. So what you do is you go back into the database expert, database, database expert, and you come over here where it says command, and I'm going to right click on that. And here I can either edit the code or I can view the code. All right, if I pick on edit, then obviously I can change the code such that it would be, um, you know, I can change it and, and add different code there. So if, if you notice over here in the database expert, if I expand one of the create new connection options, and then let's say I want to use uh, the ODBC. And then let's say I want to pick a connection one. In this case, it needs a username and password. So I'll just type that in. But notice what happens when I pick on finish there. Even for that one, for any data source, you're going to have this feature where it says add command. And that's where you can add your, um, that's where you can add your code in, your SQL code into a, a crystal report.